Alright, uh, here is part two of the video looking at the booklets for the gun plot and the Tumshi Nations. Sorry for the cutoff earlier. Um, ran out of batteries. No matter of fact, got new ones, so we're gonna finish the Hobby Japan excerpts and then move on to the Navigation Catalog 2013, which is much thicker than the other two combined. So, looking on this one, we ended at the Just a Can, which I said was a really good model to have. And on the bottom, here is the Everlands Exia and the Gundam X Divider, or Cross Divider, however you want to say it. And the. Here is the SD Gundam's BB Senshi. And. So the. Uh, okay, let's paraphrase this read up. La 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 la, uh, 100 months will be released in the June issue. The SD Gundam DB Senshi plays a great role in the existence of SD Gundam. Retsuden, which is extensive product lineups. So yeah, it has the Rube, Ruby Gundam, the Provinces Rofu, the Destiny Soso Gundam, the Stray Sunken Gundam, which have all gold bits on them. And so you can combine all the weapons. Because, like, they turn into weapons and do Phoenix and Dragon and Command them together. They're like, awesome. And here's the Legend BB series and the Noma SD series, which features the Delta Plus and the Banshee Unicorn Gundam. And here, they always have this in the SD line. They always include, like, a little manga panels that explains more of the series. And back here, these are the new kits, which hasn't been released yet, but. But should in the 2014 year, maybe, I'm not sure, or later. So here is the Dubin Wolf, which is coming on sale in August. Here's the Gerbera Tetra in July, in the Elio Strike Gundam Master Grade, version RM in May 25th. The Brew Frame Second L in May 25th as well, in the Gundam... Uh, GP01FB in July. Here it is in the prototype stage. Here is the Hobby Japan where it came from. Rated number one in all hobby magazines. Monthly Hobby Japan. Issue monthly on the 25th. Here's the uh, image of the Stray model. And there's the other stuff which is pretty good. And we're done! So, yippee! Let's move on to the navigation catalog of 2013. So here we have a nice image of, um, I think this is the Strike Gundam. And on the back, ooh, you have the, um, Zeta Gundam, I believe, because it doesn't look like the double Zeta to me. Like, oh well. And here is... Gundam.info, which um, also has the mid-year campaign. And here, this is a good addition of for scaling for all you collectors out there. The biggest one is perfect grade. Imagine and scaling down to the master grade. Okay, perfect grade is the 160th scale, and master grade is the 1/100th scale. And the real grade and the um, high grade are both the same size at 1.4 scale, but the real grade, as you can imagine, is more detailed. And way down here is the non-scale, which is basically um, everything else. But here it shows the the SD Gundam. The other non-scale would be the the candy toy, like model kits, the no grades, which are basically the one for the fourth scale, but only basic articulation in the legs and arms, and I believe the head, I have made a video on one of those kits um, in my regular toy playlist, so check that out. And here in the index. Um, it's mostly the same thing from year to year because I covered the 2012 one last year, or last last year, because ah, you know when I uploaded this, so yeah. 
the what is Gunpla, the how to make Gunpla, the history, the Gundam Age, the UC, Seed, Real Grade, High Grade, Master Grade, Perfect Grade, and the SD, the Mega Size model, which is, looks pretty good. The others, History and Gundam, uh, uh, Gunpla, Gundam, Devotion to Gunpla, and the Sight. So here is Gundam, the Gunpla, and shows you the sp the frames, the manual, and the tools you should have, like a pliers or nipper, and a set for tweezers if you want to apply the de the de the decals. Well, I always want to say decals now. Um, let me show you the details. And this is where the gun polish is. It shows you um, their sprue mop frames and how each one is can snap together. It has you can have different colors on the same frame. The touch gate where you can snap it off. The under gate and the multi insert castings. And here shows the evolution of the RX-78 Gundam, which the original, like, barely moving to the various models with the perfect grade, which I like the most, because, as you can see, you can show, you can actually see the insides in here. Others in right here at the end, you can see the mega size models with the one for the eighth scale, which is fucking giant, enormous. And here is the the um, age Gundams with the age one with Flint, the age two with Samu, and the age three with Kyo. So, um, going from his point of view in his era. Grandfather, dad, kid. So it's uh, three generations of Gundam. So it's really cool. And here's the last one, the HFX. It has all three generations. So yeah. You can see him. Looks pretty cool with the beard and goatee. Yeah. Woo! That's a good image of HFX. And it's raining on Groundhog's Day. How freaking exciting. And so it shows you the H1 normal, the H2 normal, the H1 Titus, the H2 double bullet, the H1 Spallow, and the H2 Dark Hound. And this kit page. And this, it shows you all of them. I'm not going to name all of them because that'll take a long time. But down here, you can see the BB models and the SD models. The, all of these are the high grades, like the GXs, um, Jack Edge, it looks pretty nifty. And the H1 normal, the mega size model, which is the 48th scale. There is the Unicorn Gundam, Gundam which summaries for episode 1 through 6. And it says, episode 7 will come out in spring 2014. So yeah. Ooh, look at this. Unicorn mode and destroy mode. You can see here. So much stuff. It's so, so good. From the master grades on this page to the high grades on this, this page. And on the bottom, you have the BB um, stuff with the Banshee, um, Delta Plus, and the Unicorn Transformable, which is really cool. Here is the HD remaster project for Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny. Um, you can watch it at Gundam.info or on uh, Gundam's YouTube page where they have it in Japanese, English, and it's either Chinese or Korean. I don't know. It's one of those two. Because I always see those when I'm watching the latest episode of Gundam Fighters. So here is the Gundam Seed models with the Master Grade, the Real Grade, High Grade, Perfect Grade down here with only Strike Gundams, Guys Glasper, Strike Rouge, and Gundam Astray Red Frame. Here's the BB side. 
down here it tells you about the real grade. The perfect combination of features from the high grade, master grade, and perfect grade. It's just the first um, lot, uh, figure in, this, in the series, as always, is the RX-78 II, released in 2010. And let's see if you can see the figure um, next to the inner frame, which is really good. Very nice. And here is the Zeta Gundam. Nothing beats the real thing. This is the second in the line with the advanced MS joint. Um, I have no idea if this is transformable or not. It would be really even awesome if it does. So here's the um, real grade. See? For real. Oh, this is real grade as well. So it's not the second. It's just the, the current one. So yeah, that's really nice. And it has the H high grade scale. Is what most people collect because it's um there's a lot and plus it's like uh, easier to buy I guess so here is the new Gundam which is really awesome and, and the uh, it's the version Ka the Master Grade which is really good here's the other Master Grades from the original series to the Gundam Age, the Gundam Seed, and speaking of Gundam Seed, here we go. Yeah, and this is the perfect grade. And now this is the BB grade. So, and here is the timeline from '79 to 2012. And the blue is TV. The pink is the films, and green is the OVAs, OVAs, or the original video animation. So it starts with, I'm not going to go in order, I'm just going to go read them off. So it has, on this page, original Gundam, Zeta, or Z Gundam, uh, Double Zeta, then V Gundam, Victory Gundam, the G Gundam, which is, I remember this the most, and it's raining even harder. And the th uh, the three Gundam films from the original trilogy, the other films, and a whole bunch of films over here, with the Turn A Gundam, which I thought was pretty good. They see Destiny, the Age, Gundam Seed, the uh, Double O, Gundam Wing, and Gundam X After War. Here is the devotion to Gunball. This is the building in Japan, uh, the Hobby Center, that has the. Uh, this is the manufacturing process with the R&D department, design, prototyping of the figures, the laser processing, the mode machine processing, the mode finishing, production, and compile production. And here is the site where you can um, watch the Gunpla Builders World Club live, which I thought was pretty cool. It has the archives, the free online anime of various Gundam series, um, the fun to build Gunpla, uh, which I which shows you the like the techniques like how to paint, um, how to like build custom figures and that stuff. So yeah, it's really cool. And the web campaign, which is the mid-year campaign, a regular event. And so yeah, that is done. Um, I hope you have enjoyed both parts for the pan flips. Um, enjoy the other videos in the playlist and. Hopefully, I'll see you for the next Anime Expo.